Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Steve Ehrlich from Voyager Digital. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me. And what would you say to a gold bullion investor, Steve? You know, very conservative investor. How do they put their toes in this, dip their toes in this water or enter the new galaxy via Voyager? Can you tell me, can you tell me any advice you would, you would give to this type of audience? You know, I heard someone uh, speak the other day and they were talking to a pretty, uh, pretty wide group of, of consumers, whether they were uh, bullion holders, uh, high net worth or regular, just, you know, average, you know, average uh, wealth uh, persons. Um, and they said, look, I said, if you had, you know, money in, in certain funds and you just put 1% of that into Bitcoin at the beginning of the year, you're, you would have been up an extra two or 3% on your money. If, you, if that Bitcoin would have went to zero, you would have been down like 0.2%. So what I recommend to even the, the, the gold bullion guys, the ones that have been holding that is like, Bitcoin is the, the digital gold. So take a small percent, you know, I'm not saying liquidate your entire gold bullion, but take, you know, one to 5%, put it in Bitcoin, get comfortable with it, get comfortable opening an account with us, which you can do in three minutes or less. Uh, open the account, fund it, buy some, see your interest come, get more comfortable, then keep adding to that. And really where it makes sense is to keep, you know, adding periodically on a dollar cost averaging basis. And you could keep growing your, you know, that asset fairly well. Um, that's that's the game. That's what we keep we keep imploring on people. Take one to five percent and put it in, get comfortable, and then you'll start expanding from there. Well, you were also mentioning just before we started this interview, the the having a great team and collaboration and relationships. And, you know, we, of course, in Toronto are all impressed to see about the see the deal that you made with Tracy McGrady. So if you wouldn't mind talking a little bit about that, uh, we would all be all ears. Yeah, Tracy's uh, I think he started his first three or four years of his career as a as a Raptor. Uh, so unfortunately, I think he moved on from there. But we got in touch with Tracy. Tracy's one of Tracy's big missions in life right now is to bring financial education uh, to ball players, to athletes, to younger people. And we felt it was a great fit for us because when we try to find people that we're going to work with, we want to make sure the core of why they want to work with us is about financial education. We want to make sure that they understand about crypto, a little bit about the, the financial system, but bring financial education so people understand when I invest into Bitcoin or a USDC coin, I'm getting interest, I'm getting an asset that I believe will appreciate over time and teaching them how to create wealth. And that's why it was so important to work with Tracy. That's his core business right now is all about financial education. So we've got a couple others we're lining up to add to that. Uh, we've been approached by many professional athletes that are in the financial education advisory space and they want to get involved too. They saw what happened with Tracy and and now they want to be, be part of what's the new revolution here. Well, I couldn't want to be more of that collaboration if I tried. We looked a few years ago, and we don't usually publicize this, Steve, but five years ago when we did analysis of our 10 million plus hits we were getting a month at Investor Intel, we found out that 92% were all men. And, you know, I often get asked to speak at, at women's events and I'm like, you know what, you know, it starts, it starts with education. So on that front, we all need to learn more about, uh, you know, crypto assets and in general and how to have a proper portfolio. And I know I feel like, you know, I've just walked into a record store for the first time and you own an entire record, record store chain. So will you be doing any kind of educational courses for, for people that are new to that uh, so that they can feel confident stepping in it and they're not concerned by all the news out there that maybe the two owners of the crypto accounts may accidentally die and no one will have the passwords because they're not organized? Yeah, well, a couple of many points you brought up there. One is on the education front. Yes, you know, uh, sat with my team yesterday. We're working on a knowledge center so we can teach people about it. Uh, and get them more educated on how to earn wealth through digital assets and crypto. Two, I think you made a more important point is where you started. Uh, first, we're excited to be partnering with you. We love working with you guys and trying to figure out more ways to do things together. Uh, but you said, and I'm going to use the reverse of the number you used. You said 8% of those people in, you know, are, are, are female, right? And so it's 
it's really incumbent upon us and we're trying to figure that out and and maybe we should we should think about how we include you as part of this as financial educators to teach more women how to manage the portfolio i think we're in a completely different society than we were you know 20 years ago and the empowerment of women and having them control their wealth it's really it's one of the important things we talk about a lot uh some of our content writers the lead content writer is female and I, i'm I push upon her, like, how do we start getting more female oriented content or just how do we educate more there? So those are all really important things that we need to do because, you know, the, the everybody deserves the same, you know, opportunities, whether you're, you know, male, female, green, black, yellow, orange, it doesn't really matter. Everybody deserves the same opportunities. And we're trying to equal that playing field and bring that to people. We're just trying to find the right ways to work with the right female partners to help bring that across. But that was, when you started there, I was like, that's probably one of the most important things we have to crack in that only about 8% uh, of, of the population is is has crypto that are female. So we've got to get that better. We've really got to work hard at that. And it's something you have to work hard at. And, and we're looking forward to that. Thank you so much for that, Steve. Uh, dare I even ask you what shareholders should anticipate this next quarter? I'm still... Uh, uh, enjoying the term compounded growth. Uh, I think you've got compounded growth on our stock in a way here. It's, uh, it's, it's been, uh, it's, uh, we're doing a lot of work, uh, making sure people working with folks like you, uh, which again, we're super excited about, about getting what we do out, uh, cause we are unique. We're going to continue to do that over the quarter. Um, additionally, we, you know, we have some new products coming over the next, uh, six months. Uh, we've announced that we're going to enter the Canadian market, and we'll probably do that by the end of February. Uh, always active on the M&A front. We grew the business in the U.S. a bit by acquiring Circle, uh, their accounts, the, their retail accounts from Circle. Uh, we've had a lot of interest from Canadian parties wanting to sell their accounts to us. So we're looking at different ways to do M&A. Uh, we're coming out with a debit card in the U.S. Uh, in Q1, calendar Q1 of next year. And from just a pure financial results, by the end of the month, we'll have our Q1 fiscal out. Q2 is looking really good. A lot of growth. Our assets are growing. This business is is just starting to hit our trend. I try to say that uh, digital assets and crypto is pretty much in the uh, uh, you know in the Canadian way. Uh, big. I'm a big hockey fan, so uh, Ranger fan, unfortunately. Uh, but we're in like the the first 10 minutes of the game. You know, we got 50 more minutes to go in this game. And we're early stages, uh, and we think we're just hitting our stride. Uh, when we announce, you know, into Canada, when we actually get there, we announce an acquisition of a European entity. So we've got this top of funnel of customers ready to just explode in 2021. Well, congratulations for all your ongoing successes, and uh, please join us uh, again in the future, Steve. Thank you. Definitely will. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.